We had a fantastic first round of the playoffs in the divisional round should only get better as the best eight teams remain in the NFL. But which four teams are guaranteed to lose this week? I'm Marcus Mojo of the game day and let's dive in. The first team that is guaranteed to lose in the divisional round of the playoffs are the Los Angeles Rams. They're coming off a really impressive win against the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, but what is the injury status of Aaron Donald? who injured his ribs in the in the game against Seattle. What about Jared Goff, who had thumb surgery not so long ago? Cooper Cup looks like he's dealing with a little bit of a knee injury. They're playing a Packers team that is well-rested, uh, that's pretty healthy, and probably has the MVP of the league and Aaron Rodgers on their team. It's a great story about this Rams team being able to overcome adversity, but they just don't match up that well against the Green Bay Packers. I'm picking this to be a double digit victory for Green Bay and unfortunately for the Rams to be booted out of the playoffs. The second team that is guaranteed to lose in the divisional round is the Buffalo Bills. Uh, the Bills played pretty well against the Colts, although that game did come down against the in the last couple seconds. Uh, Phillip Rivers needed the Hail Mary uh, to potentially win that game. Uh, but the Bills are in the second round of the playoffs and that's hard to believe. They will be going up against a Baltimore Ravens team that is battle tested, uh, that has one of the best head coaches in the league in John Harbaugh. This is one of the best defenses in all of football and they have the, the corners and the safeties to match up with Stephon Diggs and Cole Beasley. They're going to make Josh Allen's life really hard in this game. It's going to be a very physical game that could go either way, but I actually like Buffalo to come up a little bit short this week. Uh, again, a game that could go either way, but for the Bills to ultimately fall to the Ravens. The third team that is guaranteed to lose are the Cleveland Browns. I don't think anybody was expecting them to beat the Steelers that badly on Sunday Night Football. Uh, just destroyed them from the, from the opening snap. Literally the opening snap as Marquise Pouncey snapped the ball over the Ben, ben Roethlisberger's head. Uh, the Browns look good, and that was without Kevin Stefanski, without Denzel Ward, without a lot of big contributors on this team. It's pretty clear these aren't your same old Cleveland Browns and that they're building something special there. Uh, but going up against the Kansas City Chiefs is a different story. Patrick Mahomes, two weeks off. Andy Reid, we know how well he does after bye weeks. Uh, I like this game to stay close in the first half or so, but for the Chiefs to ultimately pull away and for the Browns to fall short. The final team that is guaranteed to lose in the divisional round of the playoffs are the New Orleans Saints. I don't like the way that Drew Brees has played over the last couple weeks. I don't like the way that he's played the playoffs uh, over the last couple seasons. Uh, his arm strength just isn't there. It's pretty clear he can't throw the ball down the field. In Tampa Bay, I know they lost the first two meetings against the Saints, but this is a completely different team than what we saw uh, early on in the season. Tom Brady is hot. Antonio Brown looks like the all-pro receiver that we remember. I just think this Tampa Bay team is really, really good, and I think they're going to advance to the championship round of the playoffs. I think this is where the Saints, uh, the end of the line uh, is for them. Probably the end of their little bit of dynasty. They've got a lot of cap situations coming up. See if Drew Brees retires or not. Uh, but I like them to lose this third game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Who are the four teams that are guaranteed to lose this weekend? Make sure you leave your comment below. And as always, thank you for watching the game day.